Hi guys, just a quick announcement before jumping into this video. In the next one, I'll be collaborating with another YouTuber. If you're curious to know who he or she is, uh, just wait till the end of this video. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we are going to visit the, the antiques market of Suave, which is a beautiful town close to Verona. Mm. Yeah, it's famous for its wines. And uh, in the second part of this video, you see a surprise uh, regarding wine. So come along with us. We're going to have a breakfast first. I'm really hungry this morning. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday winter morning. This is the main entrance of Suave. Suave, awesome. On the top of that hill on the right, you can see the ancient castle. And here's the market. I think it's so quiet because it's early in the morning. Oh, che belle! Mm. Wow. Somigliano a quella che abbiamo preso. Guarda, ce n'è una anche della Coca-Cola. Può servire? Bella. Sì, beh. Quello di battuta che era cinquant'anni. What about this set of small elephants? I think it could be a set of weights. I like long brooches because they look good on the reverse of a blazer and I don't have any Christmas brooch. The clasp of this bag reminds me about Ferragamo, but that triangle on the left, I don't know, it's strange. And speaking about cups, we still didn't have our breakfast. Che non siamo mai arrivati a un mercatino così presto. È vero. Devo fare colazione. Non cornetto. Mm -mm. Non cornetto. This fedora hat is cool, 100% wool, waterproof and crushable, which means that you can fold it to put it in your pocket. Quello che è? Sembra Roberta di Camerino. E invece? Mm, forse lo è, non so, ecco qua. Vedi? No, non è, non è Roberta di Camerino, ma ci assomiglia molto. Il signore mi ha fatto vedere una bella giacca di pasci. I love vests, but I already have a red one. Also, this one is pretty, the quality is not super good. In fact, it's by H&M. But here we have Fendi. You can recognize the fabric because it has the logo and then the small Fendi writing here and there. <laughs> Ah. 
parte lo ho questo è giusto in the last part of this video I will share with you all the vintage decor pieces and clothes that I got in the last weeks and also some purchases that I'm making at this market so stay tuned for that this is the same brooch that we saw before they are definitely modern pieces well, here there's a huge selection of colored ties for only 5 euros each. There are also some branded ones, but I think they have higher prices. And I also like these bow ties, <laughs> they have cool colors. Here I've seen these Napoleon glasses. I've never seen them with this shape before. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Cosa hai trovato? Hola, mira. Ines? <ride> va bene approvato così così glielo prendo per Daniele <ride> è bello avere un ritmo bellissimo è la piantina con la ritmo dai questa è di perugina il regalino. perugina uh, tieni tesoro chiedi anche questo quanto viene eh facciamo un po' di così oh che carino Ha tutto un libricino sul tema, ho preso. Eh beh. Oh, che ritrovamento! Adesso fermo tutto. Va bene, va bene, preparla, sì. Here I have found a box full of Italian ceramic pieces, all marked Capo di Monte. Sì, però sono tutte leggermente delicatissime. Non suona. Sì che suona. Vado a vedere di là. Ah, un portachiavi. Caffè. <ride> Ah, è un giochino famoso. Non sarà tanto vecchio, mi immagino. No, Jackson no, e Cadilli. Cadilli. Una scatolina del tè. Che simpatica. Mm? Un po' troppo nuova, credo. Beh, Entro il 93. <ride> non così nuova, forse. Dici? È carino? Beh, se ti ispira, fai mucio. Fai mucio. La chiave è rotta, è rotta proprio definitivamente. Tira su quella chiave lì che la riattacchiamo. Questa è bella, secondo me è rivendibile. Sì? Sì. Oh, i quadretti. Uh, come faccio ad arrivare di là? Faccio il giro, eh? Eccoci qua. Ci sono ancora dei 
Scadenza, scadenza. Entro il 97. Mm. Anni 90. Anni 90. Dobbiamo andare? Come sta andando tesoro? Bene, un sacco di cosine carine. Sì, abbiamo già sbancato il mercatino. Sbancato? Sì. Cosa? Wow. Sempre fiorentino? Sì, sempre fiorentino, molto carino. Veramente molto carino. Sì. Un chef per Rick Danjou. Molto carino. Eh, ci serve la nuova credenza, altro che. Che se no non so dove metterle queste cose, ma. Ti piacciono quei quadri? Sì. Molto carini. Sì. Mi piace la luce. Ma è molto romantico, tu non sei tanto romantico. <ride> Vetro quella. Piazza Erbe e il Duomo di Verona. Di Verona, ah sì. giusto. Queste qua sa come sono fatte? No, che tecnica è? Eh, dai ah. di dietro sono fatte. Ah. Sono del 55. Guarda questi. Let's have a look at this suitcase full of vintage scarves. Tutta seta. Vedo, vedo, grazie. This one is by Pierre Cardin and the price is 20 euros. Molto carino. This green one is pretty and the color is unusual, but there are some discolorations here. This one is also cute, but I can't see any brand. The pink one is by Jennifer Lopez. Mm, maybe the ones on top were the most interesting ones. Well, we have to join our friends in a few minutes so we can't finish the visit of the market. We have to go. We've got to go? Sì. Oh, so sad. Sì. Se andiamo, poi torniamo. Davvero? A me ci manca tutto il resto. Hai ragione, ci manca mezzo mercatino. On the way to the parking we are spotting so many other interesting pieces. We would like to stay here for hours. Quello là, bibite betti, mi piace. Ci vi date. A me piace di più quella che ha l'etichetta. Quella? Casa Vinicola, Firenze. Sembrano le lettere da stampa. È tanto rovinato, sì. 
Questa, questa porta? Questa porta è bellissima. E vogliamo parlare di questa valigia con tutte le etichette. Grand Hotel Venezia. Raga. Vuitton. Candelieri questi. This blazer is amazing, but we are late and there's no time to try it on. So I hope it will still be there this afternoon when we will come back to see the rest of the market. Here we are, we are reaching this huge vinery surrounded by the vineyards of the protected area of Soave. We are meeting up with other vintage car owners and with our dear friend Lele, you've already seen him in other videos, and Fabiano is giving him the small gift that we got before at the market. Meraviglioso, meraviglioso. I spawned. I spawned. Most of the cars here are Fiat Ritmo, while we have the Lancia Tema. Now let's visit the wine shop. We are tasting the local classic Soave wine and a Soave Brut which is sparkling. Volevo comprare il ricciotto di nettare di bacco, che è un vino da meditazione. 16 e mezzo, questo qua ti stende. We are going to have lunch. If you're enjoying this vintage weekend, give this video a big thumbs up. This will really help my channel to grow. Thank you. Bye. Now we can enjoy driving through the beautiful hills of the Suave wine area. There are so many vineyards here. We've arrived at the restaurant now, and here's today's menu. First of all, wine. Then sausage with mushroom and polenta, pasta with homemade ragu, grilled meat, this was not all for me, and then a tower of sweet tiramisu jars. Andiamo al mercatino? Sì, veloce veloce! Mmm, veloce veloce! Good evening! The beautiful colors of the sunset. And we're gonna find bargains, because at this time they're packing up everything and <laughs> the prices are going down. Maybe. Maybe. Also the temperature. <laughs> yes. Here we are. All the sellers are going away, but we've spotted one thing that we missed this morning because it was covered with other items. Siamo lì nell'angolo. Lì nell'angolo davanti alla porta d'ingresso. Mm. I also found this black sequined blazer. Look how shiny it is. But it is 50 euros and it is too large for me, so I'm leaving it here. And then, yes, the beautiful pink blazer is still here and fits me well. Produttivo? Non dobbiamo più tornare a Suave. No. Mai più. Meglio se proprio lasciamo perdere. Non ci veniamo più. So a couple of days have passed and I can't wait to share with you all my finds. So here I have an amazing tin box. It was originally meant to contain panettone, which is a typical Christmas cake that here in Italy is very common. It's from the 90s, even if it seems older, and I love it so much. I also got this one and I think they look good together. Oh. Then I got this one, which has a Liberty Art Nouveau style that I love very much. Originally it contained biscuits from uh, Montecatini Terme, so it's an Italian box. I got this for 5 euros and uh, also the other ones for 5 euros each. The seller also gave me a couple of cute gifts, so we have the candle holder, and this cute ornament for the Christmas tree. <laughs> he has been very kind. Then I have uh, <laughs> the books for my husband. 
I also got this uh, uh, tin box by Perugina, which is a very famous Italian brand. I think it's from the 80s. It contained sweets and this box is also easy to resell online. Then we got the small tea box. Um, it's cute. <laughs> I don't know what I have to say about this. Di misotta. Vuoi stare qui? Va bene. Then I got the key key holder. It's made of wood. It's all hand carved. Of course, I need to repair it, but I think it will be easy. Whoop! If I don't break it more. <laughs> We also got the ladder. It comes from an old mill and we love it so much. We will use it as a flower shelf and you will see it this spring. Then let's talk about the clothes. I got this wonderful jacket. It has the most beautiful colors I've ever seen. <laughs> and I don't know if it's vintage or not because the label seems a modern one. The brand is Andrea Rosati. Sotto vuoto. It's an Italian blazer and uh, it surely has a vintage vibe. I got it for 20 euros. It was a bit of a splurge, but uh, I thought it was so special. And then after seeing the prices in the vintage shops of Milan last week, I mean 20 euros. <laughs> That's nothing. I think I would style it maybe with a total black outfit, but tell me if you have other ideas. So it was clearly the day of plaid fabrics. <laughs> I was looking for a new coat. I needed a new coat. No, <laughs> I didn't need it, but uh, um, I wanted one. So here it is, only 15 euros. Now that I'm home, I see that uh, it probably had another color, maybe a fur color, but uh, well, there's no problem. I can ask my mother to add. <laughs> another color. She's very good at sewing and uh, doing these kind of things. So she will help me. So very nice. I loved the colors and uh, they also matched with the outfit that I was wearing that day, which is the same that I'm wearing today. And uh, speaking about my outfit, this is a thrifted uh, sweater, thrifted brown pants by Sisley, which is a good Italian brand. And uh, then I have this silk scarf that my mother gave me as a gift. It has this beautiful flower bouquet and uh, amazing colors. And it's the element that gave me the inspiration for this outfit. I also wanted to share with you my last buy um, regarding scarves. Uh, it's by Miss Sony. And uh, it's this beautiful, beautiful silk twill scarf. So as you have seen in the previous video in Milan, I found a silk scarf by Miss Sony in a charity shop and uh, I didn't know what to do because I wanted it and uh, I didn't have any Miss Sony scarf in my silk scarf collection, but that one was 49 euros. And so I thought that it was better to look online. And uh, that's where I found this one, which was only 25 euros, I think. And uh, I also like it better. Very happy with this one. I think it was all, but let me share with you some other finds that I got from the local charity shops. A bunch of books, one euros each. They are all for my husband. Well, no, this one is for me. Isotta. Hello, friends. Then I got a very large piece of fabric and here's how we used it. Uh, these are homemade jam jars. You know that a couple of months ago we did the grape harvest here in our garden and um, we cooked the jam, then we put it inside the small jars and we gave them as a small Christmas presents to our friends. Then in the Christmas section everything was 50% off, so I got this cute little pillow which is adorable for only three euros. I also got this cute little house shaped candle holder. You can put a tea light here. So three euros 50 was the original price. Then it was 50% discounted. I also have other two small houses, which are very similar to this one. So I'm going to put them together. Then from the Piazzola sul Brenta Antiques Market, I also made a video there last summer. I'm going to link it down below in the info box. I got Oh, 
wooden box for wine, I think. Pinot Grigio, Marlot, Sauvignon, and another one that I can't read. It still has a part of the tag here. I really love this detail. Do you think it has been used for painting? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I don't think we're gonna clean it. I think we're gonna leave it as it is. And um, we're gonna use it as a storage in our library, which you can see there, uh, because, uh, you know, there are some things that you don't want to be seen and uh, you can put inside here and then the storage is perfect. From another stand, we got this one from Pontassieve in the province of Florence. Cassetta della Signoria, six bottles of wine. Um, beautiful, beautiful, another storage box. Traces of paint also on this one. Everybody was using them to paint. Next up, I got this set of three candle holders. They are so cool. Um, you can kind of plant a candle inside. I think I will use them in my bathroom renovation project uh, that is work in progress. So as I told you at the beginning of this video, next week I'm going to publish a video with a collaboration with another YouTuber. Her name is Tammy from Texas to Milan. Maybe you already know her, but anyway, I'm going to link her channel down below in the info box so you can get to know her better before our collaboration video. So we went thrifting together in Milan because she lives there now and uh, she has been my guide for one day and uh, we had so much fun and uh, I hope you'll enjoy that video too. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss it. Give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. This will really help my channel to grow. Here's another video suggested for you. It's a, a flea market plus haul video and I hope you will enjoy it too. I will see you there. Ciao!